hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use ffmpeg with flutter uh, with c++ so we will be using dart ffi to achieve this and unfortunately this will be only for android because uh, compiling ffmpeg for ios is a very difficult task uh, even for android it is difficult but fortunately we do have a github repo which helps us to do that now some of you might be wondering why to use c++ we have something called ffmpeg kit but unfortunately that has been deprecated or archived and there has been uh, no longer any proper maintenance on that on that so we will be using c++ along with dart and we don't have to use any kind of a bridge uh, so we will be using dart ffi directly communicating dart with c++ now i have already made a video on dart ffi with c++ so it's better you watch that video first uh, because uh, like uh, just to clear up front that i'm not an expert in c++ i'll try to explain as much as i can and in this video we will be doing very simple thing like getting the duration of a video but using this exact logic you can achieve complex things with ffmpeg and c++ as well okay uh, so first what you need to do is you will have to go to this particular repository so the advantage so we are not going to ffmpeg git ffmpeg's github repository uh, why we are going to this repository is because this guy has done a tremendous job of updating ffmpeg with the latest version i think at the time of me recording it is 7.1 and that's what uh, this particular repository helps us to compile ffmpeg for android to that particular version 7.1 okay some of you might be concerned that why is this is 2.2 don't worry about this too much uh, it is to, uh, latest version i think he, he is supporting older versions as well that's why uh, and every time a new ffmpeg version uh, is available this guy make sure that uh, this particular repo has been updated as well so yeah do you don't have to worry about it so first you can just clone this repository so as you can see i have already cloned it so i have it over here uh, the next thing uh, which you need to do is once you have cloned it is just open your terminal and cd to this particular folder which we have ffmpeg android maker master so i have already uh, cd into that particular repository and also i have created one a simple flutter project the default flutter project which we get so i haven't done anything new then once you do that you need to copy this particular command and paste it over here now i have already ran this command sorry i have already ran this command uh, this command does take a little bit like lot of time maybe half an hour at least depending on your uh, system it could be quicker as well but at least it will take 10 to 15 minutes even if you have extremely powerful uh, machine uh, because we need to compile M ffmpeg for android right so it needs to generate those proper libraries as well so that's why it does take a bit of time uh, so be patient now like i said i have already ran this command uh, so once this command is successful inside this ffmpeg android maker master you should see this output folders and inside that we should have all this include and lib which have which contains the different android architecture okay so i have already ran it so i am not running it again also one more thing after running this command if you get an error saying something like this uh, android sdk home environment variable is undefined then i am on a mac uh, you will have to find similar commands on your windows as well so you just have to inside your terminal you just have to paste this particular command okay and also i'm using G z shell so this might be a little bit different if you are using bash again i'm not an expert on this even if you just google it this particular error you will get lots of uh, fixes as well solutions so yeah for me i just need to uh, run this particular command then i need to run this command okay then i will just just do source z shell rc and then just do this okay and it uh, resolved all the errors so here do not add this double slash at the start this is just to comment these things out you will have to run something like this okay so hopefully you got the point again i'll just comment this out uh, so yeah till here uh, i think everything is clear uh, next we need to include the dart ffi library inside our pubspec.yml so i'll just go to pubspec.yml over here okay once that is uh, so we can just go to our pubspec.yml and below this cupertino icons we can just paste this particular bit of code and do control s or command s to save it so ffi uh, is basically used 
to communicate between two programming language in our case it will be dart and c++ uh, like uh, i'm not really sure but i think uh, it by default dart supports communicating with c programming language i guess and given that c++ is a superset of c we have to make some code changes as well again like i mentioned said uh, i'm not an expert in c++ so even i have used chat gpt and ai tools uh, to you know help me with all this particular configuration but i have wasted a lot of time because even ai trips up uh, so you don't have to waste a lot of your time so that's why i'm making this tutorial so here you can see uh, i have added ffi and i have also added image picker so the image picker dependency will basically help us to pick videos uh, because once a video has been picked we will send the path of the picked video to ffmpeg which will run some c++ code on it and get the duration of the video so again like i have kept the c++ part simple because this is just one of the first tutorials which i'm making if you have any uh, suggestions do let me know in the comments as well uh, if you want to uh, see anything uh, get done by c uh, by ffmpeg and c++ okay then uh, let's go to lib and here we need to create a folder called ffi again you can name this whatever you name feel like but it's better you follow my naming convention if you are doing this for the very first time because all these names will be used in lot other places as well then what we need to do is inside this ffi folder we need to create a file called native underscore ffmpeg uh, ffmpeg okay dot dot again like i said uh, you can name this whatever you feel like but it's better you name it what i have given because this name will be used in lot other places as well now i will just paste some code and then i'll try to explain it to you currently we are seeing a lot of errors but don't worry once we uh, add the necessary dependencies inside our project all this error will be gone um, so first we have to add this three uh, four dependencies even i'm not sure why we are using this uh, then this Two dependencies are from ffmpeg uh, what we have compiled it for android okay like i was saying uh, these two are from ffmpeg then like i mentioned uh, even uh, ffmpeg is completely written in c programming language that's why we have to use something called this extern c i'm not sure why we have to add all this stuff attribute file default like i said even i'm not really good at this then we, here we are creating a method to get the video metadata so here we will be passing the file path of the uh, video from a flutter side and here we will be using this character uh, star so which will be help, uh, helping us to send all the video metadata uh, specifically the uh, video duration now like i said even i'm not good at this this is all ffmpeg code so here we are creating something called av format context then we open the input by passing the file path if we are not able to read it then we just return an error uh, then we create a stream info uh, again if that is equal to empty then again we return it back then we get the duration of the video uh, if it is uh, this av no pts value then we make it as zero uh, then we get the duration in seconds so this is how we do it again i have used ai for this and here we use character buffer as well and then i just uh, convert this uh, data into this particular format before sending it back and then we close the input and send all this data back to uh, on that side uh, okay so yeah that's it again ignore all these errors which you are having uh, we will be fixing these errors pretty soon now we need to create an equivalent dart uh, okay i don't know why i named this as dart it should be c plus plus sorry cpp sorry about that okay that's why we were getting this error uh yeah sorry uh, extremely sorry about this then we need to create a dart file as well so i'll just name it as uh native underscore ff mpeg dot dart okay and i'll just copy paste some code so here we are importing dart ffi as well as dart io as well as the ffi package then we have to create this uh, get video metadata native again this is boilerplate code for dart ffi which i have written then we are just uh, loading this uh, uh, so so library which will be created uh, again i'm not really sure what this is so yeah 
uh, if platform is android this is how we load our library or c++ code and then we just uh, call the get video metadata method which has been defined over here so that's what we pass over here and it is converted as a function so yeah that's how we get the video metadata now let's see how to use it first okay then uh, i just went to the main.dat file and here i'll first uh, remove all this my home page uh, class which we have because we won't be using this so i'll just remove this as well as uh, over here i'll just remove this particular part as well okay because we don't need this we will be refactoring it and over here so i will be creating this my home page widget but it won't take a title so i'll just remove this and i'll just paste some code then i will explain it to you so here you can see i have this my home page okay uh, widget uh, then here is our string metadata pick a video to see metadata then uh, here i have just uh, will come back to this method later on inside the build method i have just defined a scaffold a safe area and here i have one column inside that column i have a one button and on press of it we are calling the method which i have defined above and once we we get some metadata i'm just displaying it inside our text element so yeah now coming back to this uh, this is the uh, like state which i have defined and here i have this particular uh, method so first we are initializing our image picker so i'll quickly import that okay why i'm not able to import it just do command s to save let's see i'm not sure why i'm not able to import it okay let me try to type it out again okay it is not working for me i'll add the import manually in a second then uh, we are just picking the video as you can see over here from our gallery so again let's see okay this is on also not allowing me to import i don't know why maybe some bug in the tooling itself then if the picked file is not equal to null then we get the path of the file so that's what we are doing over here then we just call this get video metadata method so again i can import it from our uh, package flood app native ffmpeg dot dart and then uh, okay result to i don't know why this is not okay here also we need to import this package ffi dot dart uh, then uh, once we have the data we just uh, like um, assign it to our metadata variable let's see if we are able to import this okay still not able to import so i'll just scroll up and i'll add the import manually now okay then uh, inside main dot dot i'll just copy paste this particular part and here you can see uh, this error is gone as well next you will have to go to the uh, android folder and here we need to create a cmake list.txt file so i'll just name it as cmake uh, list.txt so here we need to add some code but before that i'll just open android studio because uh, before we write some cmake code it's better you uh, know uh, like you need to install cmake uh, using android studio i'll just click on don't send okay i'll just click on open over here uh, i'll just uh, go back to where my project is located my flutter project i'll go there inside my flutter project i'll just select android and i'll click on open now uh, let it do the gradle syncing it will take a bit of time but in the meantime what you can do is go to android studio go to its settings and let's just wait yeah here you will have to go to build execution development uh, go to build tools uh, no not sorry sorry i think we have to go to language and frameworks yeah you will have to go to language and frameworks go to android sdk and here you will have to go to sdk tools uh here this is fine like most of you might have already uh, all this stuff installed yeah here this is the important part so inside ndk make sure whatever is the latest version you install it do not install this rc version whatever is the latest version so i already have this 27 and 26 also so i'm not installing it again but you can upgrade it to the latest version this is required for writing c plus plus code on android studio and the second one is cmake so here you can see i have already installed cmake this was a long time back but you should install whatever is the latest version now whatever version you install of cmake do remember this version because we need to reference this version inside our cmake file as well you can't just directly install 3.3.31.6 and copy my cmake version it might work but it might lead to issue uh, issues as well so whatever cmake version you install do remember this number because we need to reference this number as well so now i'll just click on cancel uh, let's go back to our cmake file cmake list.txt 
in this particular file i'll just paste some code so first uh, like i said this should be your own cmake version then here i have given it some project name you can i don't i'm not sure if you can change this uh, like it's better whatever you have give, i mean you can change it according to me but just to be on the safer side whatever is your ff file name underscore flutter that's what i have given it then uh, here we set the ff mpeg directory as well so we have so it is looking for this particular folder so we have not created this folder so let's just create this folder it should be in the same uh, what should i say um, same uh, line as that of the cmake list.txt file like in the same android folder so i'll just create this particular this is very important because you can't just create it anywhere if you create it inside your app then this will also change that's why it's better you do what i'm doing so inside ffmpeg android maker it is looking for an output folder so i'll just go back to our ffmpeg android maker master and here we had this output folder right so we just have to copy paste this output folder inside ffmpeg android maker master so here you can see i've just copy pasted it it has this uh, it has this include as well as this lib okay uh, then uh, this uh, so we are setting the directory then we have to set the libs as well so from this particular uh, so we are setting a value to this variable right so from this variable we are looking for the lib folder and inside that we have the different android abis okay then here we are setting the lib names as well so there are different types of libraries so av codec av device av filter av format av utility then hw resample hw scale so that's what i have we have added over here then we just do a for each loop because we have different android architectures so we just go to the lib folder then we get the uh, each and every android architecture folder then we just add the library by using the add underscore library and here we just do share as well as imported then we set the target properties as well now again i am not really good at c++ sorry c make as well so i have just copy pasted this so here we are looking for this dot so files which are present over here so that's what we are adding it uh, to c make for every android architecture then we just add this library so which we had created this native ffmpeg shared and it is inside the lib folder so we have to go uh, the lib folder is outside the android folder right uh, that's why we have to do this dot dot slash lib ffi native ffmpeg underscore ffi dot cpp that's why the i said the file naming is important then we just do target link binary so pass our native ff ffmpeg log gni graphics as well as the ffmpeg uh, libs name so yeah that's all we are doing then we need to go to the app build.gradle file over here just scroll down and after this build types we need to tell it about the cmake file as well so here inside build types i'll just paste this particular bit of code over here uh, so firstly we have to tell so this is how we tell that actually build.gradle that we have created this cmake file again this should be your own cmake version so be careful over here so i think that should be it let me try to run this application and see in case if i forgot anything all right while uh, building the application i was facing this particular issue uh, now the problem is i'm using android studio meerkat uh, which is the latest at the time of me recording this video and it uses java 21 and i think flutter still relies on java jdk 17 so if you are not facing this issue you don't need to do this step so i'll just go to android studio again uh, here android studio then go to settings and then go to uh, i think I'll have to go to build execution deployment, go to grade build tools, gradles, and here I'll just change it to Java 17. I'll click on apply. I'll click on OK. Now I'll, I'll just do a gradle sync again. So I just have to click on this elephant icon. Uh, so yeah, it lets it do its gradle sync and I'll try to run my application again. Hopefully this should resolve the issue. As you can see here is the output. I'll just click on this pick video button. It will open the video picker for me. I'll just select the last video, which is 15 seconds long. I'll select it and here you can see the duration 15 seconds so yeah our code is working as expected I'll again click on pick video I'll select the first video which is 4 minutes 16 seconds long so it should be almost around 256 seconds and here you can see it is 256 seconds so hopefully you got the point that's how we integrate ffmpeg with c++ in flutter using dart ffi thank you for watching bye